Digital Foundry is sponsored by the powerful, upgradable MSI MPG Infinite X2 desktop PC, featuring Intel Core processors and NVIDIA RTX 40 series graphics. You can't expect me to believe that Gotham's most eligible bachelor is spending another Christmas alone. You just ran out of time. Hello everyone and welcome to another DF Retro Let's Play. We're back and I'm joined once again by Mark Triforce Duddleson with a very special wintry sort of game. Yeah, Arkham Origins takes place on Christmas Eve, so what better time of year to uh, give it a try here? That's right. So obviously the Arkham Trilogy just arrived on the Switch recently and it was a disaster of course as we know, uh, but they missed one. They missed Arkham Origins, Batman Arkham Origins, which did release on a Nintendo console. It released on the Wii U. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> which is what you're playing over there right now. I'm here playing on PC with all the physics settings enabled and all the other stuff, because why not? Um, and then you're over there on the Wii U, uh, and we're just looking at this lovely video intro at the moment, yep, right? Yep. Which is, uh, it's something. Well, let's go ahead and skip that and jump straight to the game where we're standing here at the uh, Blackgate West entrance that's sort of crumpled over here. And this is our first look at how the two compare. And I'm going to say it right now as we start our way into Blackgate here. Uh, it doesn't look that different at first glance. Yeah. Is I there mean, anything with my, this? Uh, I mean, my cape looks a lot worse and obviously the shadow quality. You see a lot of jaggies on uh Look at Batman's shadow. shadow. If you look down, what do you get? Uh, it's not as bad as you might think for the console version. It's, it's not great. It's I mean, definitely it's, chunkier. It's definitely, it's definitely pretty low res. But the other thing I noticed as well is uh, we don't have, uh, you know, we've kind of just got this baked texture shadow yeah, uh, from the wall here. So It's not yeah. any better. What about the smoke here? Uh, uh, well, oh, look, look at this. Look at this. So this is using the oh, power of physics, baby. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, obviously yours looks much denser, and it's a completely different technique to begin with. Yeah, look, yeah, the cape actually interacts with it, and it's all swirling around. Yeah, so, I mean, Arkham City was, like, one of the first games to use physics, I right? Like, it, it I remember not... it was it was featured on all of, like, the NVIDIA physics, like, uh, I wouldn't uh, say it's the first, material. Like the, there was stuff like Mirror's Edge way before that, right? Which was really okay, impressive, yeah. but... Arkham City was definitely one, and obviously... This I, I remember it. it being heavily promoted with it. I think it probably was, and it's fun now to look at this stuff, given that the hardware is so much more capable and it has zero issues running it. But, uh, yeah. Wii U, obviously... You know, I, gotta, I gotta say, I uh, I like this snow effect. It's got a very... It's it's actually pretty effective, I think. Uh, you know, the it, it's got a good sort of fake... Uh, Motion blur. Blur vibe to it you i know? agree but let's go ahead and go Motion on in blur. here shall we uh so i want to yeah there we go duck down and then let's walk forward batman style this is the ghost of editing future haunting these festivities to let you know that in addition to the wii u i am also dropping in some bonus frame rate analysis and comparisons to the xbox 360 version here and there so pay close attention to the console labels i love this physics smoke like it doesn't look it looks a little weird in some ways, but it's like this like volumetric physics style stuff. Oh, you yeah. you went ahead here. Let me jump. Yeah, there sorry. We oh, we got that nasty shadow on Batman. Yep. On the there. <laughs> How's it running so far, by the way? Uh, I mean, obviously it targets uh, targets thirty. FPS. Um, you know, I I don't I don't have uh, quite the eye for for the drops that you do, but. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll try to do some FPS capture later and we'll, we'll, we'll get an idea. Like it's clearly not perfect, but it's still kind of surreal to me to be playing like a third party multi-platform game of this scope on the Wii U, because I've never really done that before. Um, because like games like, like Shovel Knight or DuckTales Remastered, like kind of the main things I can think of that I played uh, right, is right. multi-platform games on Wii U. Um, obviously things like, well, I guess Bayonetta, you know, like in terms of games that I could be playing on a different system, 
Uh, not a lot. Uh, not a lot of experience in, in that uh, in that sense on, on Wii U. You know, stuff like like uh, there was the Deus Ex version and oh, Mass yeah. Effect 3. And to be honest, I didn't even know this version of the game existed. Let's go. Uh, until yeah. You, uh, until you told me. I, I knew about Arkham City. That was like the armored edition. The armored. Right? Not the same game. Not the same content, as Reggie would say. <laughs> Wait, do you have these uh these god rays? Yeah, you do. I I do. They're 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 pretty solid. She uh so that's so it looks like the PC enhancements are pretty mild, uh, which you know not too surprising, I suppose. I I can definitely see some stutters as I spin the camera here. It's okay. Let's go down. It here. ain't it ain't perfect, but you know for the uh, oh, did you go downstairs? Yep, yep. Okay. Uh, for for the context of the times and in terms of what people expected um, uh, for for console versions, I mean this this is not outside the norm of of performance. I would say. From, from what I'm seeing, though, it does seem to be better than what the Switch ports of the first two Arkham games are. Right. right, so so refresh my memory. Those are seem to. Am I right in thinking that those seem to not be based on the remastered versions no, or whatever they're called? They're not. Okay. Which I think those are not necessarily considered the best. No, the, with, those maybe. are not. Those are not great. Uh, the originals are considered better. Yeah. And that's not what the Switch got. Thankfully, they did not get the the bad remaster. They got the Unreal Engine 3 originals, but they have serious problems on the Switch. Oh, and it looks like this is not necessarily perfect on Wii U, but like, uh, it seems pretty competent so Yeah, far. it does. I mean, when you consider stuff like The Last of Us was, you know, coming out on PS3 and, and what the state of, uh, what, 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 what the state of cons of, of like high end console games were at the time on this tier of hardware? Like it's 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 not anything out of the norm. I mean, I, I'm definitely seeing drops under thirty, but you know, for for this kind of game, you know, it's I don't know. I think it's playable enough. It's it could be better, but okay, well. I, I'll, I'll be curious to check uh, later if uh, if like the Xbox 360 version, which I also have. Uh, if it has uh, anti-aliasing, because this version does not. It's 720p with no anti-aliasing. So let, hold on, let's stop for a second. I'm going to pop into the PC options menu because I do want to show you this. Check it out. They have GeForce TXAA enhanced, which uh, oh, which was at their time okay. their attempt to. It was like an early attempt at TAA, and it's right. not that effective, but it's it was all right. And it was, you know. Yeah, I mean, I honestly didn't know that kind of effect was even available at this time. Also, you can see we have DX11 enhanced geometry, shadows, depth of field, and ambient occlusion, uh, in addition to the hardware accelerated physics option here. So uh, the PC version, while not like. This is actually the version I played back in the day. And I forget so much of this game. It's been a long time, yeah. but this is the I only mean, I... version I've played. Yeah, I, 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 th this is, this is really, other than Booty up very briefly last night, this is my, my first time actually trying the game. Because uh, <laughs> you talked me into the game, the Wii U version for this comparison. But I, I had, uh, in the past year or so, actually grabbed a copy of the Xbox 360 version because it's, it's kind of interesting in that it's, it's one of those disc only backwards compatible games. Oh, true. Also, uh, so this is a yeah. weird release in general because this was from uh, Warner Brothers Mo Montreal, Montreal. Yeah, that's right. That's right, right. Rather than the Rocksteady team, because they were working on Arkham Knight at this point, which and I think uh, caused a lot of controversy at the time. Yeah, I feel like this game was a little bit unfairly maligned, and probably because people were starting to get burnt out on the formula. Uh, but oh look, there's there's oh wait no never mind. I was gonna say there was a missing texture on the floor, but it's just. Yeah, um, you weren't far. <laughs> it, it's just so blurry and uh, and poor texture filtering on the Wii U. <laughs> okay, so here we go. More combat with this nice. Uh, oh yeah. Wait, it, does, it doesn't seem to be cast in on Batman though. So it's just like a but it, a bait It looks effect. nice though. Uh, just, are they trying to teach me some sort of mechanic here? This. I can't. Uh, oh, use, I, use I, this. I didn't. Actually oh, pay I'm attention. supposed to use my cape, my A button move, the the cape 
Jeff's wish thing. That's true. So okay. So yeah, I guess Batman does when he when it zooms out a bit like that, you can kind of see the more like the improved cape physics, I guess. Yeah. Like they're not I mean, stunning, but uh it definitely helps. Th there's definitely more visible folds and stuff like that going on in yours, but Plus you know. do you have the toilet paper? Oh, oh you... where's the toilet? Look, look up. Uh, to the left oh, here. Yeah. See? Yeah, no no toilet Physics paper. Physics toilet paper. I mean, you know what? Maybe okay, maybe the Wii U version. They've, they've, maybe they've got bidets at, at the, at the point. Blindgate prison on Wii U. I would love to have been in the meetings where they discussed how they determine what features to put. It's like, we got to put in some... Uh, we, got, we got the physics in here, so uh, maybe some toilet paper? <laughs> <laughs> One thing about these games, though, going back to them that I had forgotten about is I don't love the camera. The default camera, like, zooms right up to Batman, and he fills up so mm. much of the screen. And I it's mean, just... It's, it's okay, I guess, but... It's really interesting how Metal Gear this looks, though. These environments in Blackgate, like the colors, the like the the style of geometry. Like, oh, wait, do I? Uh... Yeah, there we go. Bat claw the door. Well, oh, what are we supposed to do? Just bat claw the door. What's bat claw? What, what Hold button? L trigger. Oh, I see. Fire bat claw. But how do I actually get under there? Can you, can you like run and, oh yeah, check it out. How do you do it? <laughs> run and slide, like hold, uh, I guess on your controller it would be A. Oh yeah, then... right. Oh yeah. I, I definitely saw some bad, pretty visibly bad frame rate when I was first sliding in there. Man, it's, it's weird man, though. It's... This, this game is such like a mental black hole for me. Like I really remember Arkham, uh, Asylum in Arkham City pretty well, yeah. but this yeah. one like it's just it's like it's gone from my memory uh, Well, you know, I I actually stopped after Arkham City because um, I, I, I just I was really disappointed by how uh, They went for the more the open world style like it doesn't really suffer from like the open world tropes that you and I typically would complain about. Right. But I missed the more sort of unified, um, more unified, tightly designed environments. Oh of, yeah, I agree. Of Asylum. And I was Hit just kind of like, man. If, Hit the button. So I don't, I don't I, I, I was always under the impression this was relatively um, that area of the floor is open, open worldy like Arkham City, but I'm I'm not sure. Like this this opening is definitely more constrained like asylum. I mean it's in a prison after all. That's true. Uh, is there oh, we we're supposed to do something here and maybe I shouldn't have turned off the tutorial. Because uh <laughs> hints because I don't like Oh right. See, like I would not have remembered that. What is it? What are we doing? Hit left on the D-pad to bring up the explosive gel. Uh, let's see. Oh, left. Explosive gel. Okay. What button do I use to apply oh. it? Whoops. Uh, right. Right uh, trigger. Oh, spray explosive. Okay. Yeah, there we. There go. we go. There we go. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I never had Arkham Knight either until uh, when Gotham Knights came out. It seemed like that game really kind of got reevaluated. Yeah, um, it was amazing. People were saying, you know, that one's actually quite good. Definitely yep. uh, technically impressive, if nothing else. Uh, so, yeah, like, I, I feel like these games are kind of getting reevaluated in the wake of, one, Gotham Knights not being so good, and two, uh, this game would have absolutely been a better fit for the Switch than Arkham Knight, so why didn't they just bring this one to the Switch instead? Yeah, I've I wondered the same. And I suppose it's just because it's not a Rocksteady release, they felt that it right. didn't deserve it. But I think that's unfair. Because uh, yeah. what, they, what they've what they made here, I think, it seems solid. I remember it being perfectly good. Perfectly cromulent, even. Yes. Uh, I mean... Oh, I, I always like seeing Batman's outline in the, in I know. the vents. Even though it, like, it makes no sense. Okay, I'll just hop out here and... I, I like it. Let's Do you know what it means when... 
the enemy is on the ground and there's like a yeah, there's like, like a, a green thing radiating from them. I don't. It's been so long since I played like Asylum or City. I know. I, I don't forget all the the moves. Man, you know what's a game that kind of uh, aped Arkham Asylum's combat? I mean, a lot of games did that, but one game that I really liked that did that was uh, Sleeping Dogs. Oh yeah, Sleeping that's Dogs. That's like that's excellent. like that's one of my favorite like city-based open world games. Oh, so here, we, not, here we go. Check it not out. I think I'm too. Check it out. Me. Toilet paper time. Oh man. Oh, and, oh, it's more than toilet paper. It's yeah. Toilet paper, papers, debris. They updated a lower rate though, so it doesn't look. But it's it's pretty cool though that that actually, and this is actually stuff that you don't really see in games today either, right? Yeah, like how how long was that era of of the physics? That is cool, man. I gotta say, it didn't last long. I don't remember it lasting long. Just you know, five years maybe. I mean, there were the physics cards initially. Yeah, and then obviously this you know Nvidia bought them up. We just don't see this stuff implemented in games as as much, unfortunately. All right, so. Oh, is, bat is that claw. Bat, bat claw? So how's the frame rate been holding up thus far over there on the Wii U? I mean, it is absolutely not perfect, but I don't think it. I don't think it makes a game of this style unplayable by any means. It is slightly concerning though that it's slowing down here though like in this prison which is so it constrained opens up a lot more right so we'll see how that goes yeah i mean it's definitely it's especially like right when you get into a fight like it seems to it seems to dip a bit um oh wow look at look at the these chunks are definitely kind of physics seen a little oddly on on wii u here oh Interesting. They're sort of like snapping between positions occasionally. Oh, I can't go back. Dang it. I'm just stuck here with this, with this, all this paper. Got to get that paper. Yeah, like the, the, uh, I'd say the cleaning crew on, uh, on Wii U, U does a, does a much better job here at Blackgate Prison. No, uh, no, no papers. Oh, actually, here's some, here's some, uh, just, Paper stamped onto the floor texture here. <laughs> Man. Some inmate photos. So they're all interactive here on the PC. PC wins again. <laughs> uh, I, I do I do see some like bugs like Oh insects. Kinda, yeah, those are here. Yeah, they're like coming kinda like fading in and out a little bit. Anyway, let's uh, push on. Put that nice orange they're doing that the Hollywood tradition for the oh, lighting with oh, the orange yeah. and blue everywhere. Which is, to be fair, it looks, it looks like probably appro appropriate for this kind of game. Absolutely. Looks great. I do not begrud begrudge them for this choice. Okay, moving through the oh, vent. There's a little... There's a little Keep going. Sort of Keep going. Real-time scene going on there. There we go. Drop down. How's your frame right here? Oh, there... When I dropped down, there was some big-time stutters. Oh, man. So this guy, Black Mask, reminds me of uh, somebody from Death Stranding. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, and also, like, the, the guy from Metal Gear Solid Five, right? Oh, that, that's who I'm thinking of, actually. Great. Uh-oh. Oh, oh was, that, was that a reflection? Oh, because it was two -way, a two-way mirror. Ooh, yeah, the, cuts, the frame rate in this cutscene is pretty bad. For sure. Dive through the window. Too late. Commissioner Loeb is dead. Black Mask has a lot to answer for. Oh yeah, we can evade. <laughs> those uh, those guys were uh, kind of a little disorganized in how they were running in through the door there. Oh yeah, throw the fire extinguisher back at him. I like how it automatically puts on detective vision when you're in the smoke. Oh. Oh, right, he's one of these big guys, so you need to do the beat down to him. Yeah, you have to do the cape thing. Get out of my way. So there we go, and then... Look at that. Okay, so now let's continue through that door. 
Whew. Yeah, the frame rate's is like it, is, real bad in this Yeah, spot. I can even see over Discord, it's chugging. Mm, maybe it's not better than the Switch games. Well, we, we, we do know that uh, at the very least that the 360 version, uh, if you... I mean, if you play that on Series X, I can't imagine that it would have any problems Other way. at all. Probably not. Or you just played on PC. It is interesting, though. I feel like this was one of the big thing things with the Wii U that was a real shame, where basically, like, the system was significantly newer than 360 and PS3, but games like this, multi-platform games, were generally worst on Wii U. Yeah. Right? That was the worst yeah. version most of the time, which that's not good. That... And by the way, I do have a map on the gamepad here. I haven't, haven't even oh, talked about yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Discuss, please discuss that. The, the, I mean, that's, that, I mean, so if you hit uh, the select button, uh, yeah, you, you know. will bring up a map. And uh, that's pretty much exactly what it looks like oh, um, on, uh, on the gamepad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like here. there's like an info button. Uh, I think it, it just tells you how to use the map, I think. You might have to shoot some um, B-roll of the gamepad to show Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I mean, but that, as far as I can tell, that seems to be about all it does. So it's not too special, but still, Wii U integration. Yeah. I actually liked the mapping function on the Wii U gamepad. I always thought oh, it, was, absolutely. it was a fun thing. That, I mean, that's always been one of the strongest arguments i would say for second screen gameplay okay. on Up the Wii ladder or ds maps oh you actually get to a cutscene. oh there was a second ladder yeah okay oh it's one of those awful pre-rendered videos yeah and it's like it's super unsteady looking too it, on, on wii u at least here unreal engine 3 games were notorious for video playback they would always include the lowest quality videos with horrible bit rate that would make youtube blush and then they would run poorly. Yeah, it's oh yeah, genuinely, it's run real bad. Uh, it's atrocious. You know, I think one th one thing we can say though about um, uh, the Wii U version is that there is no version that has a more pleasurable disc to hold. You know, that's true. For those that don't remember, <laughs> the the edges of the Wii U discs were very smooth and soft. Yes. Oh, here we go. Oh, there is deformable snow even on Wii U. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at this. That's pretty good. That's a. Uh, I for, I, I mean, you know, they didn't. They if if they could do it in Uncharted Two, why not? Why not on the Wii U? Well, you say that, B, but oh, A <laughs> then Y, okay. B then X. Whoop! There he goes. Actually, yeah. This oh, the particles right there. Wow! Look at that when the helicopter comes in on the PC. It was kicking up snow and smoke. Like with physics particles. That's really impressive, actually. Okay, let's see. Wait, why is ZL not. Oh, wait, I do I need a. Ah, what, what button is battering? There we go. Beat down time. I'm really impressed with what we're seeing here, actually, with the snow stuff. I forgot about this. I mean, I know yeah, that it, the point of the game is that it takes place right before Christmas in a snowy uh, man, Gotham. The, Whoa. You know, I, 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 I used to screw up so much with Xbox buttons, and now, like, because this is a game that I feel... So like, I, it, I, I don't feel like I'm playing a game on Nintendo system, so right. I'm, like, getting my buttons Oh, look, look, look at my screen up. again. Look at these particles kicking up from the helicopter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that look, they're all swirly. Right? Looks nice. That was super cool, actually. Okay. Come on, dude. Yeah, this is just so not a game I... I would expect to be playing on Nintendo system. It is, it's really screwed up my button prompts. <laughs> that's, that's really funny, actually. <laughs> normally, normally it's the reverse, because, you know, I'm so born and bred Nintendo, you know? Yep. But normally I'd be playing this on PlayStation or Xbox. Yeah. Or PC. Like, I played the PC version of Arkham City. That was, that was during one of my PC gaming phases. Oh, really? Interesting. There we go. I got him. He's down. Another horrible looking cutscene. 
No such thing as a Batman, huh? All right, so we're landing in the Bat Cave now. Yeah. How's this looking here? This does not seem to be taking advantage of any advanced uh, features. God, I, don't, I don't love how these bats are looking on Wii U. How do they? How do they look on the uh, bats up there? Yeah, like they. they oh, they look fine. Really, they're they're like moving inconsistently on Wii U here. I, it looks really strange to me. Oh, it does look a little weird on the Wii U. Somehow, slightly yeah, different. I don't. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, let's um, let's follow Alfred down the ramp here while he tells us about stuff. While we don't listen, get this nice the the bad computer probably. Oh, there was a yeah. scanline filter on that. Okay, I'm gonna skip that. Sir, I may be stating the obvious here, but you do realize that since you and I are the only people who know the Batman's true identity, those assassins will all fail their mandate if you'd just spend the evening here. They'll put innocents in danger to attract my attention. I can't take that risk. And you think it's a better idea to just put yourself in their crosshairs? These older PC games, they don't run as well as you would expect. Like, it feels like they're limited in some ways that you can't bypass. Yeah, I mean, do you think it's a conflict with newer hardware? Or I don't think it's a just... conflict. I just think limitation of how the engine was used, how the game was built. Yeah. I mean, there, there's always been eras of uh, dark times and good times for PC ports. And I can't remember if this was one of those dark times or not. <laughs> no, this was, this was generally the way to play games at the time. The way it's meant to be played, as the marketing often said. Well, I mean, with all that <clears> physics, <throat> how could it not be? Here we go. Oh, no, wait, we're just here. Oh, I like that shadow of Batman when you open the door, though. What the hell is it? I'll pull this trigger. I ain't playing. Oh, now it's stealth time. Do it. wait, oh, wait, you can oh, yeah. see the advanced depth of field going on. There was some bokeh. Wait, is it also Yeah, the I mean, they, uh, they, they're trying to do depth of field here on Wii U. So now we can swing over here. This this stuff was really fun. In, in oh, yeah. The, the stealth takedowns. It was yeah, a good time. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> I mean, this, was, this was great in the original uh, Arkham Asylum. I mean, I, I still kind of consider that one of... Arkham uh, Asylum was incredible. Yeah, I mean, I consider that one of the best uh, uh, superhero games. games. Kind of, well, yeah, and like kind of one of the best like 3D Metroidvanias, if you will. Oh yeah. Do you remember the uh, the Vita game? I think it also had a 3DS version. Oh yeah, wasn't wasn't that uh, developed by uh, the company that the former director of uh, Metroid Prime founded? Yeah, Armature. They went on to do uh, Recore. Uh, KG Inafune. Yeah, Recore. Yep. Oh yeah, what have they done after that? I wonder. They're still around. I've seen their name out there. Oh right, they did res they did Resident Evil Four uh, VR. That's where I saw them recently. Oh, like the original version VR. Yeah, the one on Oculus um, on the Meta Quest. Oh, I see the takedown from the vet. Got it. All right, so we're we're here. There's a friendly dude there. Um, I think we go up into. There's another vent over here to go up into other way. Yeah. So there we go, run up into there. Oh, uh, we get this, let's do this takedown. Walk up to the window thing. Count of three, ready? Oh, takedown through, oh. The, through the boards. Yeah. Never mind. Threw my plane out the window. It's okay, we got it. Right, so we want to actually go through here. Oh, oh, look at this. On my oh, version. Lots, lots of smoke, no, zero smoke in my version. That's and really, it's wow. it's so jarring Whoa, seeing these. That's really cool. Yeah, that is. It's awesome. all swirling around. It's it's really jarring seeing these uh, these burned in shadow decals that don't you know. I know. Well, blend that, with Batman's shadow map. That was the only way to do it, I guess, at a reasonable frame rate back then. To, yeah, to, like, I mean, burn th in th the this shadows. was. But you did you did see it in this generation. You would see, you know. 
full, you know, kind of global shadow. Yeah, maps. but they typically looked pretty bad, right? I mean, yes, they did. And I, I kind of wish that more fewer games use them because they were so like jaggedy. Um, but at the same time, this way. Oh, <laughs> I should have uh, <clears throat> should have done better there, but it worked out. Ledge takedown. Okay. Oh, yeah. So you did it. That oh, like I, I accidentally jumped up before doing the takedown button. You're not the best Batman. I'm gonna say, Mark. I'm sorry to tell you. I, I, well, you know what? It's I don't play Batman games on Nintendo controllers. That's what's throwing me off. Look at all these cigarettes. Like it. it why is there an ashtray like where the food dispenses from uh, this dispenser? Do you have uh, any papers on the floor here? Because that's what it's all about right now over here. I've I've got burned in papers. Uh, Are they low res or? <clears throat> uh, they're actually they're actually pretty high res. Like foreclosure, keep out. It, this act this is actually pretty darn sharp. Excellent. All right. Uh, there's some debris, some some geometry debris here. Do we need to do this thing again here? Probably. Uh, let's see. That was left. Oh no! It says tap evidence scanner. Oh, we gotta scan the evidence. <laughs> align. Oh, oh! Check this out. Align your gamepad with the crime what? scene. Oh. And tap the ZL and ZR buttons when ready. Oh. Okay. okay. All oh, right. Okay. Now, now my screen actually has the 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 game mirrored on it. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, oh! Check this out. I've got I've got motion oh. controls here. Oh. Okay. I can hold and scan in evidence. Oh man, we're cooking now. That's that's actually pretty cool. That's a fun use. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like Fatal Frame or whatever, right? Yep. Exactly. Uh. Okay. Can I? Oh. Okay. I I can move. Um, Evidence scanner. Oh, we actually get to see the, the reverse footage. I don't remember if detective mode does that kind of stuff in, mm, in the other games. I feel like it does because I, rec I recall doing some sort of crime scene reconstruction things. Oh, am I? Oh, I. Oh, okay, so th this is kind of like Remember Whoa. Me where we have to like find the right point in the... Yep. Scene from the past? Yeah. Okay, so I've completed that. I can open the door. Uh, wait, what am I supposed to do? Here? Turn around no. now. Well, the wall's not oh. moving through yet. Yeah, now look oh, at that. Oh, here, scan evidence. There we go. It looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired. And it looks like that wait, same so... left a set of fingerprints says I've only done 80% of it at this point. Oh, oh, okay, boy, well, but it finished. Oh, I gotta do the, uh, the, the time scrubbing thing, right? Yeah. You have to do it at, like, different points. Right, that's what I was missing. So you have to, like, you have to, like, scan the terminal before he does anything to it. Or oh, you've already done that. So I'm not sure what you're missing. I can bypass the booby trapped access panel with my cryptic. So I've scanned the terminal. But I'll need the encryption codes from the victim. Uh, Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. Let's go ahead and so he gets blown against. Oh my uh my cape has on on my right shoulder has a few uh tears. Uh, I guess I could just Okay, let's oh. go on in the in the vent here. Oh wait, tap. Why do I have to tap the evidence scanner again? I don't think you do. But it told me. Oh, to. you're right. It does. Let's just. Oh, oh, it's in the in the vent in the vent. That's it. Oh, something went into. Yeah, you. that's what it is. We're just a bunch of, uh, you know. <laughs> Jabronis it's, it's, trying to blast through it, this thing. It's a little awkward uh, when you're. Uh, playing a game in this context. Yeah, I agree. I don't recall how this works. So I'm just looking. Well, I don't recall how I actually select the cryptographic sequencer. It's, it's down left on the D pad. 
Oh, down. Oh, you have to hit like the, di it's diagonal. the diagonal. That's that's awkward. Okay. So I'm trying to box. triangulate this, I guess. All, all right. It's it's hacking time. Wait, what? You have a different. What's, what's Do going? I have a different game? Yeah. What am I doing here? Maybe you're using oh, the wrong device. I wasn't actually trying to sur solve anything there. There we go. All right. All right, let's, We're in. let's go up. Are we going outside? Uh, well, you loaded before me, so we'll see. <laughs> Alfred, okay. contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data from my analysis. Okay, Alfred is speaking. Got to open this big door. I think so. Another device to hack. Okay. Oh, it's... Yeah, okay. Edward Nigma. <laughs> I love when games from this era tried to, like, add activities to do in the open world by, like, somebody contacting you like this. Be like, oh, ho, ho. You, I have hidden these 50 objects around the city. You'll never find them. <laughs> and it's like, mm, okay. <laughs> Still, though, I would say that these games probably have less of the open world busy yeah, yeah, work yeah. than uh, For sure. 100%. a lot of others. Just the Riddler trophies, though. Those, those things were always the worst. Wow. Look at, look at the textures on this electronic stuff in here. They're actually pretty bad on PC as well. It's like, yeah, it's... <laughs> it's like... Maybe some PS2. It's like kind of Dreamcasty, really. The volume of... Uh, just like codex sequences and talking in these games here. I, I'd kind of forgotten about this. and This is stuff I never really like. When games yeah. kind of keep you from the main game for a long time. Got, got, gotta have your radio, buddy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So now we have actual Aha, the city open world. Yep. So we can run off the edge and glide. How's it running out there so far? I mean, you know, I can get some actual data later. Okay. It's, uh, it's not perfect. I'll tell you that much. We got bad guys up here. I love all the snow on the environment, though. That is actually quite good. Yeah, this 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 snow deformation is actually like. It's good, right? Like, I don't know. Like, it's been, it's been a while since I played Uncharted 2, but I kind of want to say this looks better than what I remember Uncharted 2 snow looking like. It's like, this is pretty legit. <laughs> it is. Yeah, that's... In uh, my mind, I, though, I, I'm because I had never played the other version, so I always kind of assumed that the snow was PC only. But no, right. it's there on the Wii U. Credit where credit's Ooh, yeah, due. Yeah, there, there, there's... And I, I can also hear the disk drive, like, trying to do a lot of stuff as well. All right, it's got a stream. Yeah, so there's this, yeah. Mm, this frame rate is, is getting problematic. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It wasn't even uh, completely locked on 360, from what I remember. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I have a At higher tolerance City. for that this kind of stuff than a lot of people. But, yeah, it's uh, it, it, it ain't perfect. It ain't perfect. I'm I'm surprised that the smooth edges of that that disc don't don't help it load any faster. Right? You think it's so slick that it would just it, go it just, faster? Yeah, I mean that that's got to increase like the the seek speed by like ten percent or something at least. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of bad guys over here. Oh, it's it's a face off. Let's do a glide kick into them. <clears throat> oh yeah, they have oh, this, this. Now this is a lot of dudes here. This is a yeah. lot more dudes than we fought uh, previously. I know, right? It's pretty, pretty cool actually. Yeah, I mean, I mean this, this, this frame rate ain't too pretty, but you know, whatever. It's Wii U. I can deal. So how how would you say the Wii U version is at this point? Would you have been satisfied with this version back in the day? Uh, I mean, back in the day, I mean, you know, I mean, we all played The Last of Us on PS3, right? You know? Yeah, but that was doing some pretty high-end visuals. 
for the time. That that that, that is true, but um, but yes, that was pretty bad. I I would have I would have absolutely tolerated this back at, back at, at the time. Um, I would have tolerated it. I mean, it's it's not great, but you know. Okay, well, I think with that said, then uh, we're maybe at a good point to hop off here. We've seen the scripted We've areas, seen the open We've world, seen the open world here. My impression is that the PC version is still the best place to play it, uh, but the game itself has not aged that well visually, I would say. But the snow is really good, and I like the physics stuff. So, some good, some bad. I think Arkham Knight, obviously, I mean, next-gen game, uh, that still looks stunning today, where this definitely shows its age. But as far as... Uh, Based on what I'm seeing there from the feed, despite its issues, it does seem to be slightly better than the Switch ports of the other recent Arkham games. Yeah. Or the older Arkham games. But uh, that's going to do it for this video, I think. So thanks for joining me here today. Indeed. And uh, if you guys enjoyed it, let us know. And hopefully this is a nice Christmassy feeling episode. I don't know when it's going to come out, but maybe, hopefully it's around Christmas. We'll see. <laughs> hopefully so. But either way, we'll see you next time. Oh no, Miiverse service has ended. MSI's MPG Infinite X2 PC features powerful Intel Core processors, the latest RTX 40 series graphics, and supports DDR5 memory up to 128 gigabytes, with advanced CPU cooling via MSI's own 240 millimeter all-in-one cooler, and system thermals handled by the Silent Storm Cooling 2 solution. Every major component in the system is upgradable with a toolless design for easy access. A tempered side panel and MSI Mystic Light RGB adds to the aesthetic and the latest Wi-Fi 6E networking is supported. Check the link in the video description for full details on the MSI MPG Infinite X2, the all-new MSI gaming desktop.